Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to solve this problem. I know it looks a little bit ugly, but it's uh, conceptually very simple to understand. The black uh, parallelogram here is a, is a door, some kind of a, a door that's on hinges. So if you can think about this piece of paper maybe being what this black thing represents, it's basically a door, and along one side lie some hinges. So the door can open and close like this along the hinge line, okay? Now this corner, which I've labeled as A, we have a rope tied to the corner, and the rope goes all the way to point B, and you got some guy here pulling on the rope with 140 pounds of force. So clearly if you have a door on hinge line like this, and you've got a rope attached to this corner, and you start pulling on it, the door is going to tend to open, right? So it's going to be, a uh, moment's going to develop, and it's going to be open. But what we want to figure out is, what is the component of the moment about the hinge CD? So the hinge CD is, is the actual, the only way in which the door can rotate, but the moment that's developed about point C, for instance, uh, is, is basically going to be the cross product of the force with an R vector that we'll define in a minute. So our strategy for this problem is going to be, let's define an R vector going from C to A. That's gonna be, this will be the point of rotation that we're interested in, C. We'll define it from C to A. Okay, and then we have at the end of at the end of the R vector, we have this force developed here. So we have F and R. We'll cross those R cross F. That will develop or calculate the moment that's produced about the point C. We don't know what direction uh, that that is right now because it depends on the cross product. But it'll be some arbitrary di uh, direction in three dimensional space about which the the moment will be developed, the tendency to rotate. Okay. But then we're going to end up dotting it with a vector that we'll define along the hinge line because we want to figure out how much of that moment that's developed is actually lying along the hinge uh, there. So that's what the strategy is of the problem here. Now we have some dimensions here. So the door is four feet there and four feet there. So the door, uh, you have some dimensions there. You have six feet and six feet here. The width of the door uh, from here to here is also six feet. All right, so what we want to do is ultimately we want to find the moment about point C and then we'll end up dotting that moment that's developed there with some vector, unit vector that lies in that direction. So that vector is going to be R crossed with F. It's very important for you to figure out what R is. R always starts at the point of rotation and it ends wherever the force uh, is, is, is applied from. Now actually, the R vector can be from the point of rotation to any point along the line of action of the force, but for at least this part of the problem, we're going to take it to be from here to where the force is actually applied. So to make it a little easier to understand, I'm going to denote this R vector, RCA cross F. The reason I'm denoting it RCA is because the vector starts at C, it 